G'day, kia ora. welcome back to uh, AuthorNZ's YouTube channel. I'm here on uh, a little spot called Kohi Point, um, and from here I'm just going to sort of show you whereabouts uh, in the world that, that I come from. This isn't where I was born, but it's uh, the place that I call home. Um, behind me you can see Whale Island, and then out in this direction uh, is White Island, which is one of the world's most active volcanoes. And um, I'm gonna, I'll get back up to the top um, so we can get a better all-round view, but it's, it's quite nice down here. And I, I just want to show you whereabouts we come from. You know, we've got Tauranga over this direction, uh, Kaurau, Rotorua over here. Um, directly behind us, we've got the Otawera National Park, uh, home of the Tuhoi people, and Tamaiti, who's just uh, recently been up to a bit of mischief and has been convicted with some of his friends. Uh, what they're up to, well, I guess we'll never know, but um, they're now having a little holiday courtesy of the Queen. Over this way we've got uh, Tikaha, the Motu River, and then around the coast to Gisborne and back towards the Hawke's Bay. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of this area, where I'm from, and uh, some of our really beautiful scenery that we've got right here in the Eastern Bay of Plenty. So this is the trig station at Kohi Point. Um, this is the place where when we were a bit younger we used to drive up here and sit up here in the back of the car and drink beer and solve the problems of the world. And um, Quite common dotted around this uh, area there's quite a bit of Māori artwork. Uh, that's a carving, I'm not too sure what it signifies but we'll go and have a look at that later. If I pan around we can uh, That's the bridge that comes into town, and beyond that is the Fakatani Board Mills. That's one of the founding businesses that um, was responsible, I guess, for the for the population and, and growth of this area. Uh, it makes cardboard and not a lot else these days. And if we carry on around, we look down the coast towards uh, Tauranga. And of course, offshore from Tauranga was where the arena struck the Astralab Reef a few months back now, and uh, they're still cleaning that little mess up. It's a little bit hazy today, but it's still pretty clear. I'm not sure whether we'll be able to see any of the islands. There's Mare Island and Plate Island and uh, Motiri, there's a few islands out there. And we come back around and should be able to spot Whale Island there again. I'll, go, I'll change positions again so we can see white and then down the coast towards Tikaha and the Motu. Now what we're looking at here, uh, it's a little bit hazy today but you can see the outline of, of the cone-shaped volcano which is uh, Mount Putuaki or Mount Edgecombe. Directly behind that and to its right, it sort of tables off flat a little bit. That's Mount Tarawera, which uh, in 1886 erupted and destroyed the pink and white terraces. Now, just recently they've found, uh, using sonar equipment, the location of the pink and white terraces where they still are today, and they believe they may be able to uncover some of them. Uh, in the same awesome. direction, going further back, we'd find the, the city of uh, Rotorua, and in front of that, the township of Kaurau, which uh, was was built to support two big mills there that are now run, uh, one of them is run by North Skog. Um, they were the Tasman and Caxton paper mills. As we scan around to the left, uh, we will come back towards the Uruwera National Park beyond us, which is New Zealand's largest national park home of the Tuhoi people. Right, yeah, well we moved down, uh, down the road a little bit. It's quite hazy today, it's not a great day for photography, but that's the outline uh, of White Island. And you can see that she is uh, producing a bit of steam today, as it normally does. If I pan around to the right, we're gonna see uh, a lot of water. And we'll just about be able to pick out the shape of the coastline in the distance which is still pretty uh, pretty hazy and a little bit unclear but the further we come around the easier it'll be there's a 
chap out there fishing. All right, it's a beautiful day. It's really flat today. Um, and I'll keep coming around and we'll find Ohopi Beach, which I have heard is ranked as one of the top 10 beaches in the world. How true that is, I don't know, but it certainly is a really neat place to live. And we see uh, there's a fair bit of housing down there. That's the Ohiwa Harbour, uh, which is also a good fish, fishing and uh, recreation, boating, yachting. And we go right down to the end of the spit and there's the Hopi Golf Course is right down the end there, which you probably won't be able to see. But beyond that, you know, you go around the coast and you get uh, to Takaha first. Uh, Apodiki is inland a little bit. You can follow the coast all the way around to Gisborne and then all the way around to the Hawke's Bay. What a day, eh? Isn't that the life? This white island, I'm just playing around with my sunglasses, just trying to hold them in front of the camera to uh, make it a little bit clearer. It's quite difficult. I'm directly above town at the moment, uh, and you can see White Island there, but it's a little bit hard to see. So we pan around, and that's whale again. Oops, go the wrong way. Uh, if I look straight down here, that's the Fakatani River, and then uh, where the river goes out to sea at the heads. So I'm right above town, I'm going to go down the bottom there, I'll go to the end of the river mouth and finish up down there. Okay, <laughs> so again uh, White Island's not all that visible but it's just through the gap there. And we look around here, we're at the uh, mouth of the river. That's Whale Island. And uh, we come back around, that's uh, what we call Statue Rock. And that's the coastline that goes all the way along to Tauranga. And uh, then as we come back down and look back down the river, we can see the township of Whakatani. Which as you can see is a pretty nice place to live.